Hello everyone. So in this, this video today, I will show you. I address uh, one request that I received um, as a support request. So here is a basic example showing the, the intent of the user. He had some components which were connected together through coincident mesh, and what he wanted to do was to store in a set the elements that were belonging to um, one intersection. So let me here, for instance, uh, escape for escape my component selection, switch to node. It says that I pick this from node, then Alt and left click to select the path. So this is in nodes at my intersection. And now if I hit E, this is the elements that you wanted to save. So let me select save selection. And now let me go to model, create, set, uh, which I want to be a nil set. And uh, yes, I have my abacus, but I could do the same for Optistract. And uh, I want these elements to be used, right click, select, retrieve section, validate. And here it is done. So, and you wanted to do this for each couple of components. So, how to do this with TCL scripting? So, let me start again a new one. Um, we put it here, and let's go back to Hyperworks, starting with the command file again. Um, so, um, one more time, the command file is a journal file which allows you to get access to the list of commands that are used by Hypermesh. Uh, what is interesting to me here is the command star set value, which populates the set with the IDs of entities. So somehow I will have to change this to a different logic. Um, I, ha I have also the start create entity with the star set value. I can remove the clear mark. And what I can do is here, first I can say, okay, I don't want directly this to be an EL set instead of an L set. So this is fine for me. And also when dealing with star set value, if I keep the star set value, so for a set defining the attribute with the IDs being this element, Instead of an ID which requires me to uh, request hypermesh for the ID of the set which I just created, what I frequently do is using the name. So here for the timing, I will set set one. So this is what I have to do eventually. But here I cannot keep the row number, so I need to replace it by $LM list, which will be a TCL list which is not defined yet. So I need to uh, have a TCL information, which is set LM list, and which will come from a rich, the rich, uh, me retrieving from a mark um, of elements, the information. So, so let me come back to Hypermesh, show you uh, so the view, TCL console, frequently what we do is, let's say star create mark panel elements one. For instance, here I'm doing it interactively. I select my elements, when they are selected, I can say set lm list hm get mark elements one. So just to come back again on this uh, concept, so a mark uh, in Hypermesh is a selection of entity, whatever elements, whatever nodes, components, loads, load collectors, etc., etc. Uh, you have multiple ways to create a mark. I should just show you the interactive one in TCL where you propose the user to define a selection. Um, 
we'll use it at the beginning of the our script in order to select the components that we want to browse. Um, but we'll not just we won't use it for the elements. We have some other statements such as star create mark, um, which has a multiple of options of level, so same syntax, type of entities, ID of the mark of the buffer to be used, the option, it could be all, it could be displayed, um, it could be um, by attribute, you can select by attribute values, for instance, by metadata value, it's also possible, so there are multiple options. And once you have populated your mark, you will store it into a TCL list using this syntax. So set is a TCL uh, command for defining a variable. LM list is the name of the variable, and it will be a list which will be the content of the element mark one. So what, how I want to run the script now is first starting by creating I'm creating a component mark, comps1, select components for intersection search. And this will be stored in a list, set comp list. Again, uh, TCL is case sensitive, so here if I define comp list with upper C, upper L, I need to take care in my script that every time I call comp list, it is with upper C, upper L. So hm get mark comes one. And now <clears throat> what I want to do is to look for the different pairs of components, which will be in my list, but without duplicating the effort. I mean I don't I could use the for each uh, comp one dollar complete and then having a second uh, nested for each come to dollar complete etc etc but if I do this kind of nested uh, for each loop what I will have as a result I will have one compare with one which makes no sense one compare with two one compares with three and then I will have uh, two compare with one which I already do did to compare with two, no sense anymore. So I cannot do the nested for each. Instead, I will use a while to start with. So while, and I will check for the length of my list. So while a length dollar complete greater than one. Sorry end of curly brace. Uh, what I want to do is to say set comp1. Uh, I will pick the first item of the current list. So L index dollar comp list one. And I will set uh, my I will update my comp list by saying it is the all the index apart the first index. So it should be L index zero here, sorry. And here it will be L range dollar complete from index one. So we remove index zero to end index. So the final index. So we don't need to know the, the length of the complete. We, we can call it by the final index. So let me save, it, save this file as a TCL so that I can. Okay, V02, let me call it V02, TCL. Okay, so now I have this comp1 and I have an updated comp list where I removed comp1. So now what I can say is that for each component 2 from comp list, I will compare uh, entities from not from component one, not for component two, and search for intersecting nodes. And if there are intersecting nodes, then I will search for the elements. So how to do this? Create a first mark of nodes by comp dollar comp one. 
do the same for COM2. So just let me pick this one and I will just change the ID of the mark. And so second one to be one to be looked for. And in addition of cre star create mark panel, which is interactive selection, in addition of star create mark, there are some other tools in order to manipulate uh, marks. One of them is star mark intersection. Nodes one, nodes two. So this will return me a mark in ID one. It will update mark ID one with only the nodes which intersect the two selections. So now let's say that if L lens, so I want to check if the um, intersection mark is empty or not. So let me say uh, set intersect not list um, HHM get mark nodes one. If n lens donor intersect node list greater than zero, then I want to find the attached elements. Um, and once I have uh, find the attached elements, I can go for these commands. So how to find the um, elements attached to the node? Here I will use another operator. So let me go to the online help to show it to you. Okay, so let me go to the view halter simulation help. I'm reviewing everything and let me hit star find mark. This is the one which finds the entities attached to the other ones. So let's have a look at the commands. So star find mark, um, entity type. So the entity types to find or to use for finding entities adjacent to. So this will be my nodes. And this will be mark ID one to start with. Okay, so star find mark nodes one. Function, a flag that indicates the find function to perform. So do I find mod bit the row? Do I want to find the entities on the mark or attached to those on the mark? I want to find the entities attached to the mark. I don't care of the other ones, so all the other ones, I can leave them to zero. So I have only bit one, which is, which is equal to one. So here the value will be one. After the function, I have the adjacent. Do I want to add both entities on mark ID and then found to output mark IDs? or do not add entities on mark ID to output my card. Uh, I want only the, to output mark ID, the adjacent one, so um, I will set it to one. Then the adjacent entity type, uh, I set it to one, so I need to define the type of adjacent I want to find, so it will be elements. Um, then I have the numbers. Do I want to turn on on the graphic display the number of the ID of the entity? No, I don't want, so I will keep zero. And what is the mark ID of the uh, for the elements? I will use mark ID one, zero, one. So here my uh, I have my selection. Then I have my list for getting the elements. And let me just change here the list. Uh, the name of the componentary intersect dash dollar comp one. 
dash dollar comp2. And I will pick this again and use it at the bottom here. So let me save it. Let me get back to my macros. HM. This is my TCL. Let me go to my section here. Um, let's see if I drag and drop, what do I get? So, I think I, okay, let me try again. What's going on? Start create mark panel. Sorry, otherwise that won't work. That won't work. Okay, let me do it again. Components, I want the three components. Validate. I have three sets, YAL set. And let me review the three of them, intersect. So let me review. I have the first one and I have the second one. And here's my macro. So yeah, the idea for me was to show you in this video how to do some selection, how to think about how do I get to my list of elements. So having the intersecting nodes, so for this I need the, the two components to both the components without duplicating the efforts. So this is why I started with a while loop, then a for each loop and using some uh, mark manipulation commands such as mark intersection and style find mark. So hope this helps you for future scripting. Thanks everyone, goodbye.